Hey everybody, this is Mike McCarthy here. Now we're going to look at baking guides and ground strands and some potential pitfalls that you can run into when doing these operations. So in a previous video I just looked at the basis of ground strands and how it works and for that I had collapsed these guides into editable splines. Now you have another option which is to collapse these guides into just a baked guides object. So if I right click and say collapse to this gives me my baked guides. Now in most cases I would suggest that this is probably the better solution because uh, you're not going through an extra conversion process to convert them to splines and then convert them back to guides. These are baked guides. And you have your option here to choose your base surface for these baked guides. Now uh, when doing this it's important to understand that you're associating one object with another object and sometimes the transformations of the two objects um, become important. So it's good to have things zeroed out, it's good to have transforms zeroed out, and things of that nature. Uh, with that being said, before I go ahead and pick my surface, because I've already primed this to have a problem we can deal with, I'm going to go to Edit and Hold, and I'll go ahead and pick my surface. And you can see that the hair kind of gets messed up. And that's, of course, because we have some sort of strange transformation going on on the character, even though it really doesn't look like it too much. So I'm going to go back to Fetch, because this is actually a fairly difficult thing to undo. Um, the hair object gets moved into a different place, and that can be a bit tricky. If I select the mesh itself, you can see we have skin, and he's just kind of moving around, doing his thing here. Everything looks pretty good. And when I go to the different transforms, you can see that the position and the scale look okay, but rotation uh, is pretty strange here. But that's not actually clearly apparent because of the skin modifier. If I do turn off the skin modifier, you can see that this is kind of rotated in a strange direction. And if I go in and just rotate it back to zero, 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 and reinitialize the skin, all right, he's still doing his thing and happy. Now I'm going to have much better luck going in and picking my surface. So if I go here and I pick the surface, now you can see that the guides are correctly placed on the surface and I can go and choose OX hair from guides. And there you go. We have properly baked and grounded hair. Now, we'll run into the same situation if we were to convert these to splines. So if I just go in and fetch again, if I did go in here and go that extra step and say convert to editable spline, and then go to OX guides from shape, I'll set that to the proper number of points, and then I'll use OX ground strands. So actually, before I pick, I'll just do a quick hold. And when I do go and pick, because I haven't made those adjustments, when I click on Roots Detached, we're going to get some really funky um, setup here too. So this is slightly different than the look that we got from Baked Guides, but uh, it's certainly not what we're looking for. Okay, so if I go back here and say um, Fetch, and go into the mesh, we'll turn this off and get those rotations zeroed out. Now when I select my hair object, pick the surface, and say roots detached, there we go. Okay, and this is actually, this is another benefit of using round strands, is that you can detach the roots and reattach them if you do run into that problem. So um, if I go back to my fetch, okay, we can see that this guy still has his rotation kind of messed up. And if I pick my surface and detach the roots, you can see that they're kind of messed up. So I can detach them again, and then I can go to the surface. And this gives me a little bit more flexibility like so. And we'll go and put our skin back on. And now I can say 
reattach, okay? And now the roots aren't detached anymore and they're kind of doing the proper thing. Uh, the other thing that you could do is, let me just go to edit fetch. I'm just gonna collapse two. This is gonna give me a baked guides object again, which is the same thing. And I can see, I'll go to edit hold. That I'm gonna run into the same problem that I had before, okay? Where it's not really working properly. I can go ahead and use OX ground strands right on this baked guides object though. And that will give me a little bit more flexibility with this. So see we get a similar setup there. And what I'll do is detach those roots. I'll go back in because you can see that the hair is kind of moved back to this uh, position there. And I'll go and grab that rotate. We'll turn our skin back on and we can set the attached roots back on. So if you want a little more flexibility, even with the baked guides, there's no need to convert to splines there. You can just use ground strands uh, with that baked guide so that you get these little options here that you can detach and reattach very easily. So hopefully that helps you out with grounding and some potential pitfalls that you can run into with meshes that have either strange transforms or other things like that if you do run into a scenario where you either ground the uh, baked guides or using ground strands and your hair kind of gets a little wacky. Okay, thank you very much.